All right, so we got the pump and housing all together. I didn't have the special tool, so what I did was just take it to the dealer and have them do it for me. Paid them like $150 for that. The tool, I think, is about $300. So, and then we got the surface all cleaned up um, and wiped down the silicone. And now we're gonna install the pump and house, uh, yeah, pump and housing back onto the block. All right, so we got the the pump and housing bolted down. Now on the pump or on the housing, there's a sleeve and there's a dowel pin. So just make sure that that sleeve and dowel pin are positioned correctly um, when you put it in. And then of course the teeth have to line up with the gears. Um, and then it'll go in pretty easy. That's it for this. Now we're gonna pretty much go in reverse. So now we're gonna connect all our low pressure hoses. Okay, actually we're back underneath and we're gonna um, bolt down the support bracket for the high pressure pump. We're gonna install those two bolts and then we'll tighten these two bolts up. Then we'll go back up top and put the hoses on. Right, so we got the support bracket um, bolted down. We got all our low pressure fuel lines hooked up. Now we're gonna hook up the two high pressure fuel lines. And you don't wanna reuse the old ones. You wanna put new ones on. The pump should come with new ones. If it doesn't, then you should buy some new ones. So now we're gonna put these on. All right, now we got those high pressure fuel lines all tightened up the one in the back is a pain in the ass to get to but if you got um a couple different size three quarter inch wrenches small medium maybe a large you'll be able to work with it you don't need no special bends or anything and now we're going to install the alternator we got the alternator all tightened down wires installed Next, we're gonna install the um, the ECM bracket All right down there. So we got the the engine control module bracket mounted down. One, two, three bolts. Then you want to zip tie this um, zip tie this harness right here in a little X pattern. Now we're gonna install the ECM. And then I think we'll put one more zip tie from here to here. ECM mounted up, and like I said, zip tie this bracket, uh, this um, wiring harness to this bottom bolt. And um, International has a pattern to tighten this ECM down. It's one, two, um, what was it? Three, four. Um, oh, five right there, the top right, six, bottom left, seven, and then eight. And then after that, we're going to just um, put these uh, connectors in and go from there. Next is the power steering tubes. Um, so I already connected them. I started with the clamps on the bottom. Then I tightened them at the power steering pump. And then I came back up here and secured them here and that one. That serpentine belt, same thing. Uh, 15 millimeter socket, half inch uh, breaker bar, and route that belt the correct way. All right, we got the serpentine belt um, installed. Now we're going to put the oil filler neck and brace and bracket and everything that has to do with that. Put that together. Here, three bolts. You're gonna hook up the oil filler neck, the dipstick, power steering line, and there's a L-shaped bracket right there. So you're gonna connect all those to that one bolt. After that, you're gonna install your steering shaft, tighten it down to prime the fuel system. There's a knob right here. You're gonna turn it um, counterclockwise until it's unlocked and pump it 
International says a minimum of 250 pumps, full strokes, up and down. So, that's about two minutes, they say. So, get the pumping. After you're done with the priming, go ahead and connect your batteries. Um, and just don't forget our intake tube. Got a new O-ring for that, so let's put that on. Install the new O-ring, put a little bit of grease on, on your O-ring, and then go ahead and connect it there. And tube there. all tightened up. Now we're gonna fill up the um, power steering fluid, and I think we're gonna be ready to start it up. All right, we filled up the power steering fluid. Took two quarts from empty. So two quarts, I bought four just in case, but it only took two. Now we're gonna crank it up and try to start. Some. Now we're gonna let it run for like two minutes, checking for leaks, making, making sure everything's working right. After that, then we can put the rest of the stuff back on and you're done. So this is what's cracked, right on the top up there. And why this is not serviceable, I don't know. It's bullshit, but it is what it is. Truck's running. <laughs> 